G'day and welcome to the Tech Math Channel. What I'm going to be looking at in this video is how to subtract decimals. So, without much further ado, I'll give you an example of where we're doing this. Um, so, the example I'm going to use to uh, show you how to do this is this one 32.567, and we're going to take from this 1.39. Okay, now. When we're subtracting any number from one another, but especially so with decimals, it's really, really important that we line up numbers of the same place together. So we're going to write this, so these, this one's on top of this one, and, and we're going to line these up so units are above units and tens are above tens. Well, there's no tens, but uh, tenths are above tenths and hundreds are above hundreds. And as well with this, so the decimals line up with one another as well. So if we do this, this will look like this. Uh, so I'll start off with 32... 0.567 and we're going to take away 1.39 and you're going to see the units line up the decimals line up the tenths line up and the hundredths line up okay so we can start actually then subtracting here so first off what I'm going to do with this I'm actually going to put a zero here just for the minute when you're first doing these, I think it's really, really important when you do these. This is a good little step to put in. This way you pad it out, uh, just so all of our numbers have the same length. So this has a, a, has a number here with three decimal places. This only has two decimal places, so I'm going to put a zero there, just to avoid any little confusion that might go on. So seven take away zero is seven. Six take away nine. Now, we can't do that because six is smaller than nine. So we must borrow one from over here. So 5 becomes a 4. And our 1 goes over here. So it becomes 16. 16 take away 9 is 7. Then we go to this, uh, our tenths here. 4 take away 3 is 1. The decimal place goes here. 2 take away 1 is 1. And 3 take away nothing. Or 3 take away, well, nothing <laughs> is 3. So we have our answer of 31. That's pretty easy, right? I'll tell you what, I'll go through one more example of these uh, just so you can pick these up, okay? So, the example I'll go through with this one uh, is a slight variation to this one, is where we're going to have, say, 26.4 and I'm going to take away 12.3. Okay. Now the way we do this is as follows. Okay, we get again we get to light them so everything lines up. This this number really didn't work out very well, so I'll just fix it up there. So I'll light, write everything so that again the you, the tens line up, the units line up, the decimals line up, the tenths line up, and there's only one with hundredths. So let's do this. So twenty six point four, and I'm going to take away twelve point three four. And once again, you're going to notice, I'll put the little line under here, that this one is one decimal place, this one is two decimal places, so I'm going to pad it out with an extra zero here. Now, it's really, really important to do this, especially where these numbers are on top, so it's a good habit to get into. So, we start out and we go zero take away four, we can't do. So we're going to have to borrow one from here. So we have, this becomes a three, this becomes a one. So ten take away four is six, three take away three, is zero, the decimal place goes there. Six take away two is four, and two take away one is one. So our answer is 14.06. Hey, that's the way you subtract decimals. Uh, future videos, we're gonna be looking at how to multiply decimals and divide decimals, okay? So I hope to see you then. See you then, bye.